Back now to our top story. The nation's top counterterrorism official warning today about the growing threat from this terror group in Iraq. And just days ago, the king of Saudi Arabia said the same thing. But what is the Arab world doing to help fight these terrorists? Harris Safar is the national spokesperson for Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA, and he is author of Demystifying Islam, Tackling the Tough Questions. Harris, good to see you tonight. And so Thank you where, where is the international Muslim community on this? Uh, well, you're absolutely right that um, there's, uh, there's been work done by Muslims around the world and Muslim nations, uh, but there's not been enough that's been done. And the largest responsibility falls on uh, the Muslim world for reigning in the terror group like ISIS. Now, what, what we can't dismiss, however, is significant Muslim voices uh, with, uh, around the world that are calling out uh, ISIS. So when you look at, for example, a significant voice that the Khalifa of Islam, His Holiness Mirza Masrur Ahmed, who commands a following of Muslims in over 206 countries around the world, uh, where he has been repeatedly calling out ISIS. Now, him being not only a, a man of God, but being God's man on earth means following him uh, leads to divine protection. And he has repeatedly called out ISIS, not only for betraying the teachings of Islam, but for also killing innocent people and for leading others, especially youth, down a path of evil and cruelty. Okay, so we can't dismiss explain, and forget Explain that. to the viewers how significant that is, because you look at the folks who are raising their hand to go in there and actually fight them, and I don't see one Muslim country in there. Not one. The UAA made a statement today, but who has actually come out and said, we will do it with you, America? Well, UA should certainly be applauded, even though there's always concerns uh, with the, the way they treat their own citizens. Um, but there's two things I would say right, uh, about that. First is uh, that there have been several Muslim groups, Muslim organizations. You have like the OIC, the, Sec the General Secretary, Secretary who had condemned ISIS, who Speak leads over 57 countries. Well, um, so the biggest issue right now is even though you have um, organizations like the OIC, like Turkey's top cleric, like Al Azhar University's top cleric, uh, all the, the Arab League, uh, even though you have all these people condemning, you're right, there, not enough is being done. And that's where I agree with you. That not enough is being done is, is just words. They need actual actions. And in fact, Who would this they may sound to? strange. Who would this terror group listen to? Oh, they're not going to listen to uh, anyone, which is why when we look at the Quran, the Holy Quran, our Holy Scripture, commands Muslims in chapter 49 that it's their responsibility to rise up and stop groups like ISIS who cause chaos and destruction. So is when the it answer says to, to bomb them? I mean, is that the answer then, that, that we have no, to bomb them? No, no. Um, I, th I, um, I think any rational person will, will say that the history of the world has shown that bombing and violence, it does not solve any of these issues. It just leads to more violence. Then talk and with them? What's happening right now is not, in, it's not, in, in, uh, it's not incubated. This is a result of decades of violence. So what we need is a combination, like uh, pres uh, Israeli President, President Shimon Perez, his proposal was actually very good, which was to send a UN peacekeeping uh, uh, group led mostly by Arabs and Arab soldiers uh, in, order, in order to solve this issue. So that plus attacking the ideology, like the Amdi Muslim community, we inject mm -hmm. within our satellite station uh, an Arab ch right. uh, channel, which we attack their ideology in the Arab world. So it's going to be a fight against the ideology, a, a UN peacekeeping council made up of Arabs, but we need Muslims to step up. Not enough is being done, and that's what we're trying to help lead the way. Harris, good to see you.